Are you a little bit crooked? <laughs> I will fix that soon. I will just do my intro. So, hello, hello, hey, hey, hello, hey, hi. Today I'm here with a new video and today it is part number four in my Zodiac series. And as usual, if you're like, what the fuck is that? I will leave my first part up here where you can, where I talk a little bit more about the Zodiac series here on my channel. So it's time for video number four with this palette. And the star sign of this month is Aries. And this one, I, I can't tilt it back. So it's this one and in Swedish it is Väduren. Väduren. And yeah, it's shimmery, almost like a little orange. I can swatch it for you. It's not so pink, it was like the worst place ever to swatch. It looks like this. Um, I think I know what I want to do. So I would just zoom in a little bit and get started. And I have picked out some other shades I want to use for this look. So we just hop into this fourth look with the Zodiac palette. So we just get started with the look and I tried to do this once before but then I totally changed my mind. I was so confident and was like I know exactly what I want to do. Then I when I have done when I did the first eye I was like this is boring so I changed my mind. I <laughs> can put in a little video when I did one eye so you can see that look as well if you even care. So I have some shadows here that I think I'm going to use in this look as well. I'm going to use them. Um, these are from Makeup Geek. So I'm going to use these three. I thought I was going to use this, but I don't think I will. This is from Nabla, but I'm going to use these. So I will start with this one and put it in my crease. I think this idea is going to be better better than the other the one thing I like about this series here on my channel to film it is that often <laughs> when I do videos I like use only one palette because I may be doing a review, I may be doing a free looks one palette, I'm doing a first impression and I only use one palette but now I am able to use different palettes and I like to do that sometimes. So now I will go in with this shade just to deepen down my crease. Okay, is it called deepen down? I'm not sure. Darken down, deepen down. It has to be because dark is down and light is up. So something like this. I love these shadows from Makeup Geek. Then I will do a halo eye in this look. I did a halo eye last month as well. That's why I didn't want to do this first. But I changed my mind and I want to do it. So I will take Linda, Halber Linda Halberg's Infinity palette. This is the original. The same shadow is in the deep palette as well. So I will use Fornax and I will do a halo eye with this. So I will put this in my outer corner. And this is one of my favorite black shades I have because this is black. But it's not like this. I have been afraid of black. We can just say that. And this black is... It's a really good black. It's not like pitch black from start. So you don't have to be afraid of this black. It's workable. And I really like it. So when I have the edge pretty good, I go in a little bit more black. 
and try to concentrate it near my eyelashes. Okay, I like that I sound like a tutorial person. Uh, I go in with the shade I had to deepen down my crease and just run over here. Just run over here. Go over here to make the blend good. So, something like that. And I think I will keep going on this eye and maybe do this eye off cam so it doesn't go on for so long this video. And I will cut this crease because I don't think this shadow from the Colourpop palette is that good. Um, not the, as good to like stand out with this black. So I will do like that. Do like that. And I will try to do some kind of shape. Okay, maybe we can put this down. To get it wider up here. Okay, I just have to be quiet when I'm doing this because I can't talk and be concentrated at the same time. Okay, so something like this and now I need another brush that I haven't used. Are you used? No. And then I'm going in with this Arias shade and put it in my little, on my little cut out halo. And I will just try to pack this on before I blend it so I don't get any black on my brush so I don't ruin this shade. Okay, so this shaping a halo is not my best ability here in life. Okay, so now it looked very cut, cut out, cut out. And I think I will go in with this one from Makeup Geek and just try to fix blend the halo maybe this did not work no it did not i will go in with the black one i will go in with the black one just to smudge the edge out and now i think i took too much poop okay so the halo is getting smaller and smaller and smaller I think I will just go with this, so I will try to mess up the other eye as well, and then I will be back. Um, so yeah, I will fix this eye or mess up this eye as well. Take away the fallout, so I guess I will have the same amount of fallout on this. Fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes, and then complete this look. So I will mess up the eye, the other eye as well. So I am back and I think the angle may be a little bit wrong. <laughs> okay, so for my under eyes, I don't want to go in with the Colourpop shade, I know. So I would just take... I think I will take this one and put it on my lower lash. So something like this and I will also go in with the black one with a smaller brush and put it on uh, yeah close to my lash line. I will the that's my normal sound now. And for my watch line I will take likable mood from Linda Holberg. This is an orange. And then I will also put on some mascara to this. And for lips, I will take, I think I will take this. This is Jeffree Star's Pumpkin Pie. I think it will go good with the my, my shadow, eyeshadow. 
my shadow eyeshadow. Okay, maybe this lipstick was a little bit dark for this look. Maybe I should have gone with some lighter orange brown thing. Okay, I don't think this lipstick goes good with this look. I think it's a little bit too dark. I wonder what I should use instead. Okay, I will just have a little peek in my lipstick drawer and see if I find something else that is better than this. Okay, so I have tried like eight lipsticks and uh, nobody did work, but now my lips are so freaking sore, so I will just go with this. And this is Anastasia's Ashton. I really like this. I don't use it that much. I don't know why, because it is a pretty shade and I think the formula is really good. So this is my fourth look with the Zodiac, the Colourpop Zodiac palette. So we have, we have, I have used this areas and I still is, I still have the same feelings about this palette. I don't think that this is one of Colourpop's best palettes. I think this palette, I think their other palettes is better than this one. I have used, yeah, it's my fourth shade. Um... And they don't perform as other Colourpop shadows. I have used others and their shimmers is so amazing. And this shimmer is on a sticky base and it's good. But it's not like amazing. So I'm still convinced. I still convinced. I am still not convinced with this palette. And next month is going to be hard for me to do. I don't know what I think about this look. I wished it was a little bit more like this. A little bit more popping than it's on the eyes. And that is not. So this is not their best work. That's just my opinion. So this is look number four. I really hope you like this video. And yeah, it will be fun to see what I'm doing next mouth and it will be fun to see I have at least or I have four more shimmers to go so hopefully they the other four will be better than this these two I have tried but yeah this is my areas look for the zodiac palette episode for April. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!